Hi, I'm Anya Litis. Hello, I'm Alessandro Bonatoni. Welcome to Food 101. Food, 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 people. Let's talk about food. Oh, Shafi. Hello, Daniel. How are you? I'm fabulous, fabulous like you. <laughs> Thank you. My goodness, Shafi. Our four, fifth season is coming. Yes. Oh, so fast, so fast, people. Thank you so much, Speechpad, for being number 11. Of Thank the you. Best 70. Oh, yes. Of 70 best food podcasts on the planet. Thank you so much. I hope next year for our fifth season, we are number five. <laughs> <laughs> Right, oh, Chevy? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Number know? five, people. Yes, yes. That's good. <laughs> we're, because we this our pod- best. Yeah. Yes, we are trying our yeah. best because because this podcast is bigger. Better and bolder. Yeah, but we, we, we enjoy doing it. That's the best part anyway. So yes. it's not the, you know, number one or number seven, number 20. It doesn't matter <laughs> for us. You know, we're just happy, you know, to, to mm. give to it talk- to our listener, you know, a little part of uh, cooking, uh, uh, Italian cooking f- uh, uh, history or whatever, you know? Yes. Experience. Let's say experience. Uh, yes. An Italian Ex- cooking experience. True, true, people. If you have the passion of what you're doing, even if you're tired, you are committed to do it. Just like now, Shafi, I'm so tired and I said, I'm so feel sleepy. <laughs> Because I'm morning shift already, so oh, wow. I woke I woke up early in the mornings, like five p five a.m. So, uh, it's it's a long day, but because we have the passion of what we're doing, as Chef said, we have we this dedication. It. Yes, we have the dedication to talk and talk and talk about food, food, food. Yes, and again, thank you, Fishpot, for being number. 11 and of course listen notes for our listen score i think we are belong to 2.5 popular show globally thank you so much and um this month and uh like the previous month we're talking about regional dishes in italy so yeah, we talk about yeah regional food the regional uh so we we have a few few regions we did already Yes, I think we have five already. Sir. Five or six, yeah, something like that. So, six, yes. Yeah. So today we're gonna talk about Campania, you know, but in my my neighbor's region, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, la, uh, you from Rome, Chef, right? Lazio, You're yes, Lazio Lazio region. Lazio. So you know, Campania with that anyway. So mm. you know, Campania, you know, Napoli, Napoli, of course. Oh yes. First the famous thing Napoli. Up, first thing coming up in your mind is going to be pizza. Boom, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> pizza <course>. margarita. <laughs> yeah, Napoletana, pizza Napoletana, pizza Napoletana. Yes. Of course, you know, it's... Uh, uh, what do you want to say about it? <laughs> talk about pizza. <laughs> uh, you know, let's say that you got trace of, uh, of the pizza already from the 1700. So, you know, you can imagine all this, uh, you know, we making uh, pizza in Italy. So, yeah, it's a classic, you know, pizza dough, and you stretch it, you flip it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you, you topping it with the, your flavor things. Uh, first of all, margarita or pizza napoletana. Yes, you got your nice fresh tomato, your, your mozzarella, fresh basil, olive oil. There we go. That's a done deal. Yeah, that's uh, what it is. The best pizza in the world. <laughs> yes. Where yes. pizza originated, I think. Yes, of course. Mm. And then, then it's moving around the world. You know, wherever you go, everybody knows about pizza. So Yes. So we made that happen. <laughs> yeah. We love pizza anywhere oh, in the I, world. I love pizza, you know. I, even if I know that I can't, I should not eat too much carbo, but you know, I can't say no to pizza. It doesn't matter what. <laughs> no carbo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and um, 
my next since we talk about pizza i will talk about buffalo mozzarella of course you know uh, it's a campana buffalo uh, mozzarella campana that's when they were the best uh, uh the domestic uh, uh buffalo uh, the, the uh, you know race uh, to produce the the best milk to make the traditional buffalo mozzarella campana you know mm, and then, yes. of course you know it's there it's the uh the space that they have, you know, the conditional, atmosphere condition over there, they, you know, make the buffalo mozzarella unique, you know, in, in that region. Yes, I love buffalo. Uh, we usually use for caprese. Yes, that was my next mm. step. <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I, was your thinking, mind, I was thinking one at a time, you know, we can start for one thing and keep going, you know. <laughs> Yeah, well, because we talk about Campania, so Campania, let's say, after, you know, you talk about buffalo mozzarella, we can go straight to the Caprese salad, you know, classic yes. Caprese salad. Wherever you go, you find it. You know, uh, I was in Japan and we was uh, doing uh, Caprese salad. We were in, in Canada, we do Caprese salad. And like, so it doesn't matter where you're going, you find the Caprese salad. It's classic, it's tradition, it's simple. That's the most important thing. And it's simple for the summertime. You got nice, fresh uh, Arlen tomato, you know, from your garden. Or if you want, you buy just fresh at the store. You know, you slice, uh, you slice with the mozzarella, the buffalo mozzarella, a little bit of salt, olive oil, pepper. And we go a little bit nice, lots of fresh basil on top. Done deal. Yes. Simple Lots. and... Uh, let's say... Delicious. I, yeah, of course, delicious, but a little bit healthy too, yes. You know... Well, to eat too much mozzarella, no, but you know, it's, uh, it's healthy anyway. It's a yes. fresh cheese. Then, of course, Good. when we go from the Caprese salad, we can move a little bit on the pasta section, you know, we got tomato. Mm. So, let's talk about a nice linguine allo scoglio, you know, classic seafood pasta, you know, with a nice linguine. With the, uh, you can use uh, semi dry cherry tomato, even cherry tomato eventually, uh, mussel, clams, squid, shrimps, uh, prawns, whatever you like. And the best uh, uh, match, of course, is spaghetti or linguine. Uh, that's the best one to, to be used for that kind of pasta. You know, I will suggest, of course, an oil base like uh, tradition, oil base, garlic, olive oil, and, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, nice fresh parsley. And, uh, yeah, I will uh, use some uh, nice fresh cherry tomato in the summertime, when they in the winter. Yeah, you can use some nice uh, uh, semi-dry cherry tomato. Yes. You can find anywhere. Uh, another dish that I like with the mozzarella, since I was talking about buffalo mozzarella, is the parmigiana la napoletana. It's a classic eggplant parmigian that, that you know, by its, uh, let's say it's uh, uh, different, uh, a little bit taller than usual. And uh, you got your ingredient, you got your eggplant, you got your tomato, you got your uh, basil, you know, if you can put some onion in the tomato sauce, uh, you got your parmigian, olive oil, your garlic, and then, of course, you got your nice mozzarella di bufala, campana, from the campagna. Absolutely. Yeah, bueno. Yes. And yeah. uh, another dish before I will move on a little bit more on the heavy stuff, I will suggest a nice gnocchi alla sorrentina. That's one of my favorite because I love gnocchi. And, mm, nice. uh, you know, and a classic, you know, potato gnocchi. You need your potato, your flour, your eggs to make your gnocchi, of course. A nice mozzarella di bufala campana, of course. And you got your basil, your a little pecorino, you got your tomato sauce, black pepper, and we go. You just put the mozzarella on top after it's done, put it in the oven a little bit. Oh my god, unbelievable! <laughs> <laughs> It's something else, people. And you, you know what? I think it. I'm gonna make it next week. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> now, now that you make me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we sure. talking about I really feel like yeah. oh my god yes 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 and uh, we want to invite our uh, listeners or viewers to participate to our discussion if you want uh, to know something else that we want to talk about 
Okay, you are most welcome to participate. Thank like you. Absolutely. And you know what? I can tell you, you know, uh, talking about potato gnocchi, what kind of gnocchi, what kind of potato you should use, it, you know, all these kind of questions. If you're interested, just let us know and uh, we can answer you all the time. Absolutely. You know, especially, in, uh, you know, to use the potato, you got to make sure they're nice and dry so you don't have to use the, the one that's too fresh, too watery, you know. So it takes a little bit of time, you know, but, you know, once you know how to make gnocchi after, you know, it's so easy, it's so good. So fast. Yes. La, let's keep going with the mozzarella. We can go on another appetizer, mozzarella and carrozza, classic uh, campagna. Mm, yes. Um, dish, yes, it's nice for appetizer, it's nice for party. If you got some uh, nice cocktail party with your friends at home, you know, especially New Year's Eve, Christmas coming, you know. You know, all these kind of little things. Mozzarella and carrozza. Two pieces of bread, mozzarella in the middle, mozzarella, making sure it's buffalo mozzarella. Squeeze it together. You pass in the, in the eggs, in the breadcrumbs. You deep fry, or you pan sear, or whatever you, whatever you like best. Uh, even pan fry is fine. And uh, that's say you serve when it's all melted, the mozzarella inside, or oh, it's... Uh, you can serve it with some nice fresh tomato, with some nice fresh tomato and basil, or even Genovese stay pesto too, you can dip on it. Oh my God, it's amazing. But if you want to stay in the Campania, in the uh, Campania region like we're talking today, tomato sauce, for sure. Tomato sauce, yes, for sure. But there's a big difference if you use cherry tomato on it, it's so sweet and sour taste. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, I will, when, when it's a summertime, it's a different story because, you know, you got a nice, fresh, uh, uh, fresh product coming from the garden. But especially if you're in Italy or you are, you know, close to uh, some farm, you know, you like it because to be close to there, you know, you can get nice, fresh product all the time. And, yes. uh, yeah, whatever you find in the store, yes, they're sweet. Sometimes they, you don't know what you find. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's a surprise, you know. Yes. Uh, yes, you know, it's uh, uh, the cherry tomato. I love cherry tomato to put on there, especially if you cook uh, with some nice fresh garlic, uh, you know, just simple like that, you know, or almost done, not completely. I still want to see the little pieces, a little biard, you know, to to spread on top of the mozzarella and carrots. It would be very, very uh, delicious to, to taste. Yes. Che buono. Yes, it is. For sure. <laughs> So, Shafi, before we go, on, let's yes. shout out our, uh, well, our countries listening to us. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I hope you will continue uh, listening to us because we are aiming for our 2 million downloads. Yes, please. And so, Shafi, which one of these countries you want to shout out? Oh, I just pick uh, one. <laughs> let's do Chile. I sure. love Chile. Okay, you have oh, Sefi. Santiago Metropolitan, 100%. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you so much. Chile. Habla Espanol. Uh, for sure, they are speaking Spanish. So, let's do, let's do um, Indonesia with that. Indonesia, Sefi. Sure. Uh, okay, so we have Jakarta, 51%, West Java, 14%, East Java, 8%, North Sumatra, 8%, Bali, 8%, Gorontalo, 5%, Central Java, 5%. Thank you yes. very much. Rikma Kasi Banyak, Indonesia. So one more because... Usually, we do shout out three countries every Fantastic. episode. One more, Shafi. So, Indonesia, we do like Greece before. Let's do Finland. Okay, okay Shafi, so Finland. We have uh, Lapland, uh, 36%. Usima. 29%, Pirka Mas, 21%, Southwest Finland, 7%, Ostrobotnia, 7%. Thank you so much for all these countries listening to. Thank you. 
um food 101 i think we have 120 if i'm not mistaken come to wow. listening to this podcast because in apple podcast we got 80.8 percent cast box at 6.5 web browser at 3.3 pocket cast at 2.5 spotify at 2.3 and others 4.6 in spotify Safi, we have 5300 listeners or subscriber wow. thank you so much i hope uh we have more subscribers on spotify make it 1 million subscriber people <laughs> wow uh, we are because we are aiming for one, 2 million downloads thank you yes we will thank you so much for supporting this podcast and we are assuring you that our fifth season will be a bigger, better, better, and yes. bolder. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I want to, uh, yes, congratulate us, Sheppy, right? <laughs> Let's give us a big, big hand for uh, Food 101. <laughs> I think you did a great job. <laughs> You did a great job, people, for uh, hard work for the last four years. Thank you so much. So, Shafi, what will be the next? Uh, the next, the I will say, stay on uh, pasta. So, I will go with the spaghetti alle vongole, classic uh, vongole. Oh, spaghetti. I love that. Yeah, uh, you can't go wrong than that. It's so easy. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Garlic, olive oil, fresh uh, clams, uh, parsley, and a nice glass of white wine. Boom, here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so you easy, put, but delicious. Put, yeah, you can put spaghetti, you can put linguine, you know, whatever you feel like. Yeah. Absolutely. The best one is spaghetti, of course. And uh, since we talk about spaghetti, uh, what about the spaghetti alla butanesca? Oh, oh yes, nice. black olives, capers, anchovies, oregano, nice fresh tomato. Wow, go for <laughs> yes, something you can't go wrong with that. Yes, if we're gonna choose uh, vongole and uh, puttanesca, which one, Chefy? <laughs> uh, which one uh, I will pick? Yes. Uh, well, I like both of them, but um, I'm a very big fan of the Vongole. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah it's, second it's, thought. <laughs> yeah, at one point, uh, the Vongole beat the, the Puttanesca, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> For sure, and more famous, too. Yeah. No, I think Puttanesca knows, too, anyway. It's a nice yes. uh, uh, classic, too. And uh, right, so we're talking about uh, nice uh, olives uh, and uh, clams. Uh, why don't talk about aqua pazza? So it's classic. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, classic. Uh, a taste of uh, of uh, campagna for sure. Uh, you know, you can use any day, orata, branzino, whatever you feel like. You know, and uh, you know, with your uh, nice fresh cherry tomato, you got your fresh uh, basil, uh, olives uh, if you want to. Uh, clams, classic clams. Here we go. A nice mm. the 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 only juice that you need. You it's from from the the clams are gonna come out. So it's, uh, it's fantastic. And you cook your yes. nice uh, sibas with the sauce. Fa fa fabulous. Oh my goodness, sibas! Oh, I miss sibas, Chevy. Yeah, well, it's a branzino more than sibas. We call it sibas, but it's actually it's a branzino because branzino. in Europe we have small sibas, uh, not a small branzino, and uh, it's a uh, classic. So branzino, see, even the branzino in the orada, orada is a little bit more fatty as a fish, but it's still a very good match for the aquapazza. Absolutely. Yes, it's been a long time. I miss eating um, branzino. <laughs> oh my god and, uh, for a dessert I will go with torta caprese because you know since we are uh, Campania one of the most famous is torta caprese actually no there is even another famous but we're going to talk after but well the classic torta caprese dark chocolate cake you know uh, you know it's just made with the dark chocolate eggs sugar almond and uh, butter that's uh, that's what you need and it's a classic cake. Uh, it's a very good cake to to uh, 
finish, uh, finish you have to finish your uh, dinner at the end. It's not that heavy, so it's good. Instead, one that I really like, it, of course, is uh, 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 there is a couple actually, a couple dessert that I really like Zeppole, the Zeppole that are deep fry or even bake uh, shoe cream practically. Yes. Uh, shoe. And uh, they are stuffed with the custard cream, and uh, there is custard cream on top with a couple of uh, nice, uh, fresh uh, the, the cherries, uh, pickled cherries, kind. And uh, the another one, it's uh, the Baba, classic, uh, uh, classic dessert of uh, uh, Napoleon dessert. It's, uh, a, let's say, it's kind of uh, um, brioche. Let's say, yeah, oh. we can say it's kind of brioche. It's cooked almost like a brioche, and uh, and then it's uh, soaked in uh, in rum. Uh, Rum, uh, sugar, sugar water, let's say, like a syrup, a rum syrup. And rum. Uh, after that, it's uh, dip in this uh, syrup for uh, three or four times until, you know, it's nice and juicy as a, as a sponge, as a, as a brioche. Then cut it on top a little bit, just open up a little bit to just stuff it with cream, cassia cream on it. It's fantastic. <laughs> Marvelous. And yes. Que Absolutely. bono. Yes, it is. <laughs> que bono. So, Shafi, I just want to add um, trivia about our podcast because it's, it's uh, our fifth season is coming. According to our analytics, uh, there are 123 countries listening to this podcast. And number one is they're listening to Apple Podcasts, which is 867 and the age that usually listening to us is age 45 to 59. We got 94.5%. And the gender most listening to us are female because we got 77.9%. Oh, wow. Oh. Fantastic. Yes, all female. <laughs> we got 77.9. Because female, um, most women love food, food, food. Oh, and we, yeah, of course. And male, we got only 3.8%. Wow. Thank you so much for all the women all over the world supporting this podcast. And all those 123 countries. Thank you so much for supporting us. I hope you're going to beat my, you know what, my Shafi, I'm just sharing my book 101 review. I have 153 countries listening to this podcast, to my book 101 review. I hope we're going to beat, uh, we're going to beat uh, my book 101 review soon. I hope one hundred one hundred seventy-five. <laughs> We're aiming for that, uh, but well, Jeff and I, as I said, we are dedicated to do this podcast every every yeah. week, and we are live, yeah. people. We're live through um, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. And please do. Um, visit our official website for this podcast, food uh, www.food101.ca. You will learn a lot from this uh, website, people. From uh, making uh, mushroom consomme, what else? Compound butter sauce, and many more. And of course, our um, merchandise. Please do grab a cup. Uh, please do purchase one of our merchandise available on Etsy. And Shopify. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for those trivia. Every now and then, we're going to give you trivia for our podcast. Before we do that for our, I remember, I think, second season, right, Chevy? We do yes. our giving our trivia about self. About, now, we're going to give you trivia about our podcast because... We are aiming for the best of the best for this podcast, and we want to share to you how this podcast created. So, Shafi, what will be the next 
Well, uh, that's uh, more, almost all uh, for the most my most favorite list. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's do summarize Absolutely. the list. Well, of Chef Alessandro. Okay, I will start with the pizza napoletana. That's my first one. The mozzarella di bufala campana. Then uh, we talk about caprese salad. Then we talk about uh, the parmigiana la napoletana. Then we had the gnocchi alla sorrentina. Yes. We have the linguine allo scoglio. Yes. Then we talk about mozzarella in carrozza. Yes. Then we talk about uh, what is uh, uh, spaghetti alle vongole. Then we talk about spaghetti puttanesca and uh, zeppole. We talk about uh, torta caprese, and to finish, we talk about baba. Baba, the one of the most uh, famous uh, campagna dessert. Yes, <laughs> like uh, what they call, like tiramisu. Yeah, like, actually, uh, yes, yeah. it's the the fame. Wow, there is even sfogliatelle napoletane. It's another one, and uh, they're very typical. Uh, uh, Campagna. So, but is you know, like uh, I said, there is so many dishes to talk about. Uh, you can never yes. summarize in uh, in what in uh, twenty five minutes that we're talking. You know, so I try to uh, put the as the one that I really like most, and uh, and uh, let's see. And I hope that everybody listen to us. They like the same what I do. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes, so yes, yes. Try it, people, because Campania Dices is celebrated or celebrated for its rich culinary traditions, rooted into fresh local ingredients and vibrant flavors. So That's please right. do try them, taste them, and if you want to cook them, cook it and yes, try the experimenting. And let us know how it went. Are you yeah. did? Yes. Of course. We're encouraging you always to participate to this podcast. Uh, say what you are. Uh, if you want to uh, know something that you don't understand, Chef Alessandro is here, <laughs> especially Italian cuisine. <laughs> oh, yes, of Italian, course. Italian, Italian cuisine. Yes. And we... We before our fifth season coming, we are producing our uh, food one hundred one volume fifteen regional dishes in Italy. That's yes. what we are talking about. So please tune in, people, and please grab a copy of our food one hundred one volume one until thirteen, especially twelve. Um, food one hundred one volume twelve Italian cuisine, but the rest, uh, well. Food 101 is volume 1 is basic, volume 2 is fundamentals. And you know what, Jeffy? I did a survey about what um, cuisine that you like. Mm. And for I have a 250 respondent, I think. You know what they like? What cuisine what they, like? they like? Oh, they like Italian cuisine. Yes, uh, here we go. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> And I have like 3,500 impressions for that. So Fantastic. Italian cuisine are famous. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's, uh, we, that's why we're keeping going with this, uh, you know, <laughs> with our podcast, you know. Yes. Of course. I, I always do survey uh, on LinkedIn. So please do tune in or check my LinkedIn account. Mm -hmm. And... As I said, Italian cuisine won the pl first place. I like uh, fifty-five percent of the respondents like Italian cuisine. So that's why we are producing another book, people. Food One Hundred One, Volume Fifteen: Original Dishes in Italy. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. So, Shafi, we got people. See you soon. Bye-bye.